Dougal, is there anything on your mind? <laughs> Let me rephrase that. <laughs> is there anything you want to tell me about? Uh, something bothering you in some way? Like what, Ted? Have you done anything you might be embarrassed about? Uh, have you done anything <laughs> bad recently? Anything wrong? Wrong? Yes, Dougal, wrong. You remember right and wrong, the difference between the two. Page one of How to Be a Catholic. <laughs> Honestly, Dougal, this is very basic stuff. <laughs> what is wrong? Give me an example of something that's wrong. Oh, just, just give me a second, Ted. I, uh, I... Arson. There's one. Murder. Swearing. Swearing, yeah. Anything else? Uh, um, uh, <laughs> lying. Well done, Dougal, yes! Thanks, Ted. <laughs> Dougal, are you all right? I'm fine, Ted. I, I just need to sit down. <sighs> Sorry about that, Dougal. Probably push you a bit hard there. <laughs> no worries, Ted. <laughs> Dougal... Something else that's wrong is, is stealing. What I'm trying to say is it, it's, it's wrong to steal. It, stealing is just something you don't do. Right, except you. Yes, <laughs> what? But you're allowed to steal. What are you talking about? The money from that Lourdes thing. <laughs> Different thing altogether, Dougal. First of all, that money was just resting in my account before I moved it on. It was resting for a long time, Ted. Yes, but... but a good long rest. Look, Dougal, we're not talking about me. We're talking about you. Is there anything you want to tell me about? This, for example? Father, Sergeant Hodgins and Mr Benson are here. Uh, Dougal, uh, Dougal, you just go out and get the, get the shears. Oh, right, Jared. Hello, Father. I'm sorry to disturb you like this, <laughs> but uh, I thought we might meet and talk about You've this. You've heard about the whole whistle business, Father. Yes. <laughs> when I woke up and saw that my whistle had been stolen, I went into a state of shock and lost the use of my legs. <laughs> well... One of them, anyhow. This one's fine, but this one, oh, completely lost all feeling. Look! The shock also affected his memory. Oh. It's actually that leg that there's no feeling in. Anyhow, come on, Father. Did you hear anything? About what? About my whistle. Did you hear anything during confession? No, no. Now, come on. The confessional is sacrosanct. I have had that whistle for 40 years. It saved my grandfather's life. Did it, really? It did. He was being executed by the British. They had him up against a wall and they shot him. And the bullets all hit the whistle in his coat pocket and bounced off him. God almighty, so he survived. No, no, they just reloaded, shot him again. <laughs> Listen, Father, I don't want to be saying anything, but... Um... Jim saw someone. Yes. Well, he didn't get a good look, but he did notice something. The collar. Jim said it was a priest who stole the whistle. All right, that'll be Ted. <laughs> what? Do you remember, Ted? You were talking about stealing something and you showed me the whistle. You put it in your top pocket there. <laughs> no, Dougal. No, it is Ted. Go, try your top pocket there. Go on, seriously now. I bet you it's in there. In fact, I'm sure it is. Give it a go. <laughs> Just a bit more to your right there. Yes, Dougal. Thank you. 